So, when you've made your little design and you've got your pot, what you need to do is export this as a mesh file. Now, for my output, um, first of all, we need to select the unnamed file down on the view here. Click unnamed file, save as, and then here's just a few of the basic stuff I've made in the last day. Um, as you can see, I'm making a quick bed, but I've put it together and uploaded a file already for this. Um, so this is a pencil part. Now obviously it's going to cost me more to print this out on a 3D printer than it would just to make it uh, go to buy it or whatever. But we've saved that, we've got the cut, it's two simple parts. But then we've got a nice big pencil part. Then we select the main cut from here. And then we've got to go to file. And then we'll go down to export. And then just select an save us type STL mesh. And then you'll name it pencil part and cut. But then you can put your own file name dot stl. <clears throat> and then once you got that stl file, that's basically all you need to do to actually install it, uh, put it through your slicing program. And then you can then open your slicing program. Now it's important that your slicing program is set up properly. Um, I use Perusa Slicer currently 2.3.3 um, Now you can see open up here I've got an Ender 3 printer um, I do need to update it by lots of it but what we do here is we go on the toolbar, click on add, pencil pot cut, and as you can see, simple pot, nice square, simple, and then all we need to do is click on, after obviously setting up your printer and you know it's all working properly, click slice now, and as you can see, to print this off, it's going to take me 4 hours 34 minutes. However, I don't want to print this off, but I can click on export G-code once again and export the G-code and save it onto my SD card and insert it into my printer and print it. So, simple as that. Within a few minutes, you can have a pencil pot printing but okay like I say I can make this one um, and it'll cost me more in time and effort than I can probably go on Amazon and it'll probably cost me a pound and they'll ship something simple like this to me but it's just the fact that I've made it myself and if you get your kids to do something like this they'll love themselves for it and then what if you want to make it a bit more unique you might want to add a face onto it or something and that's what it's for um, and we'll be getting to that in just a moment <laughs> 